Hey, Burn Creek. Have you ever stopped to notice how quickly the world is changing? New technologies let us do things today we couldn't have imagined when your parents were in high school. For instance, did you know that people ask Google 31 billion questions every month? If Facebook were a country, it would have a larger population than China. And it's estimated that the amount of unique information generated this year will be about as much as the last 5,000 years worth of information all put together. As all these things change, the world of work is changing too. A recent report suggests 85% of the jobs that will exist in 2030 haven't even been invented yet. Workers 11 years from now will be trying to solve problems we don't know are problems yet with technology that hasn't even been invented. But what does that mean for you? How do you prepare for a career that doesn't exist? Guess what? You're already doing it. In high school, there's lots of stuff your teachers hope you'll learn about their subjects, like doing math with fractions, writing a proper paragraph, knowing what goes on inside your body, and understanding climate change. As you learn all that stuff, you're also building important skills. You're learning how to learn new things, communicating what you know and what you need, recognizing what you have to offer, and figuring out how to work effectively with others. In our changing world, it's difficult to prepare for specific situations. Instead, in your personal and working lives, you'll need to make better use of transferable skills. Increasingly, employers look for workers who have a positive attitude and strong work ethic, who build relationships with customers and coworkers, who can communicate effectively, who demonstrate strong teamwork, and who can analyze and solve new problems. Our curriculum calls these transferable skills core competencies, but let's just stick with skills. You build these skills every day over years. They're just as important as the stuff you're learning, but they're really tricky to measure. What's most important is that you understand where you're at, how you've grown, and where you're headed next. Our BC report card asks you to look back over your year and reflect on some highlights, skills you know that you've improved this year. In June, you'll share what you've learned with a teacher in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. But what will you talk about? How will you be ready for this? In your classes and through tutorial, we're going to spend some time talking about the three skill areas, thinking, communication, and personal social skills. Together, we'll figure out what some of those skills look like, and we'll help you to identify the activities you've done that use those skills. You'll also start to build an online portfolio that you can bring with you to your June interview. You'll add to it every year until you graduate. Your portfolio will help you collect evidence of your growth over time and will support your ongoing reflection.